I use she, her pronouns. I'm part of the outreach team here at Actua, and today I'm going to show you a really amazing STEM activity where you can create your own rainbows. We recommend the following activity for grades 3 and up. In this activity, you will need a container of water, at least five clear containers, but more if you have them is awesome, a couple of spoons, food coloring, a turkey baster or a straw, both work super well, and sugar. You can also use salt if you don't have sugar, they work the same. Today we're going to use our understanding of density to make rainbows from sugar water. To begin, pour about one to two cups of water in four of your empty cups and add a couple of food coloring drops to each. I have red, yellow, green, and blue. In this colorful activity, we'll be experimenting with density to create our rainbows. Density is the measure of how much stuff or particles are packed into a certain space. All objects are made up of particles, but the difference is in how tightly those particles are packed together. To understand this, let's look at oil and water. Here I have a glass of water, which I've colored blue to help us see better. Now, if I pour the oil into the water, let's see what happens. You can clearly see that the oil and water do not mix. Now, if I were to stir it up, let's see what happens. The oil and water still don't mix. This is because the oil is less dense than water. The particles in water are packed tighter together than the particles in the oil. We can change the density of water by increasing the amount of sugar we add. The more sugar we add, the more dense the liquid will be because the particles are being packed tighter together. Now, we want the color at the top red, so we need it to be the least dense. We won't add any sugar to our red cup. The next color in our rainbow is yellow. Let's start by adding two spoonfuls of sugar. It doesn't matter what size spoon you use, the important part is that you use the same amount of sugar each time. For our next cup, let's add four spoonfuls of sugar. And finally for blue, let's add six. Make sure you stir each cup until all the sugar has fully dissolved. Once your sugar is all fully dissolved, it's time to start creating your rainbows. Now you'll need your straw and your empty cup. Starting at your most dense color, you're going to stick your straw in and cover the top hole. This will allow you to drop water easily into your empty cup. You want to add enough water of your blue or whatever your dentist color is to make sure that it's filling the bottom. Once you have enough liquid, you can move on to your next color. In my case, it's green. Now, when you're adding your next color, you want to make sure that you go very slow so that the colors don't mix. One helpful tip for this is to tilt your cup onto its side to allow the water to drip down the edge. Continue to do this until you see a layer form. If you find that your colors are still mixing, what you can do is you can go back and add more sugar to each of your cups. Just make sure that the amount of sugar is still different between each of the cups. You want the densities to stay different. Fantastic job. We just created our own rainbows. You could do this activity over and over again with different densities and different ingredients. You can even add more colors to your rainbow. Definitely try out new things and be sure to tag Actual on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Thanks so much for tuning in and make sure you follow our YouTube page for more STEM content.